okay so in this lecture we are going to animate this adidas logo so let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 and background color is white and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and we will click on titles section. then i have this png file of adidas logo you can choose whatever logo you want but specifically in this type of logo reveal animations we need something which has either white or black color so select this logo press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this okay now what we need to do let's make this full resolution over here let's select this logo go to our layer option and over here you will get this option called auto trace so simply click on it and make sure to click on this apply on new layer and pixels before auto trace let's make this zero and time spent current frame and after that simply hit ok so it will create one extra layer over here and let's hide this thing over here now press ctrl k on your keyboard so we can see our project settings and background color i am going to choose black color simply hit ok and then hit ok now select this auto trace layers go to the effect and presets and in search option we will try stroke and simply double click to apply this effect to stroke over here up on this layer now let's select this layer as you guys can see path is mask over here so we need to choose all mask and stroke sequentially i'm going to uncheck this like this and paint style by default it's on original image but we need to use reveal original image like this as you guys can see we will get this kind of stroke over here now let's select this and stroke i mean brush size i'm going to choose 20 and let's see we will get something like this now let's select this and let's go to the end property over here initially let's make it zero and we will create one keyframe hit u so we can see as you guys can see we have all path keyframes so see if we go downwards we will get this frame over here go to around two seconds and let's make this hundred so now if you hit play we will get this kind of animation over here okay hit u press f4 let's select this layer like this and color over here as you guys can see we can manipulate this color but if this color is not for this reveal uh, or something so what we gonna do we will select this we will press first make this into 3d over here and whenever you are going to convert anything in 3d over here you will find this renderer right now it's classic 3d and make sure that it should be classic 3d sometimes by default you if you see over here it's by default cinema 4d so make sure to it's classic 3d and simply hit ok now we will select this auto trace layer and we will press ctrl shift c to make it pre-comp move all attributes into the new composition and let's call it as one and we will simply hit ok we will click on this icon and we will make this layer 3d like this okay so if you see this thing now we will get something like this now what we need to do let's go inside this hit u and let's go downwards select those this one uh, sorry uh, select these stroke keyframes and make sure to hit f9 to apply easy knees out effect on it and if you want then you can change the duration of this animation also a little bit extra like this so if you hit play now we will get this kind of animation let's go to the main animation now okay so this is for this one now let's select this uh, and press p for position uh, and before that what we are going to do instead of active camera i am going to choose left like this and as you guys can see with the help of because we have converted this layer into 3d we have this three axis and i want to move this on z axis as you guys can see it's moving over here like this okay so first of all let's choose active camera first right click new and we will create one camera and settings make sure the angle of view is 40 and camera one and simply hit ok now uh, this camera is in the front and let's make this left view so as you guys can see the camera is over here and our subject is over here and if you choose plus value over here on z axis then it goes backwards okay so now we will apply one expression on it simply alt click over here open and close bracket and inside that let's type position open and close bracket we will type zero 
then after that we will type comma we will type position open and close bracket type one after that comma hit position open and close bracket type two after that we will hit plus uh, and we will type one number okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna type two over here then i'll hit star and i'll type index and simply hit enter like this okay and now if you hit ctrl d again and again and again as you guys can see we are gonna get multiple copies over here like this now i have created 26 copies i'm gonna make 30 around something like this and if you see in active camera view we'll get something like this as you guys can see we cannot see any 3d effect over here but if i press c or you can simply select this camera tool and if you rotate your camera we will get something like this okay like this so let's go to the active i mean left camera view and make sure which one is the last layer as you guys can see this one is my last layer like this okay let's make this active camera again now i'm gonna select this layer and i'll press p for position and i'll alt click to remove this expression so on this layer the expression is not there so i'm gonna make it yellow like this and right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project i'll select this layer i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and by holding alt what i'm gonna do i'm simply gonna replace it with this so this is separate layer uh, different uh, composition and this one is different composition if you see in this left camera view as you guys can see this one is on the top you can simply press p for position select this and press p and if you want then you can move this to let's say around four so it's gonna go over here 